Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's session we are going to see about how to filter and get that uh, single cell and how to show that in a message box or in doc to file in the Excel or Notepad. So the steps involved or the packages we use in this bot is Excel package, number package, loop, if condition. These are all the package we are going to use in this bot. Okay, let's be quickly create the bot. So this is the Excel. What we are going to do in this Excel is we are just going to get the uh, information of uh, if we go to the position and if you select this um, software engineer, there are three software engineer in this uh, Excel. So how to get all these three that is like filtering out and getting all the three uh, software engineers and showing in a message box. So how to do that? This is not like normally filter command in the uh, filter command in the automation anywhere commands. This is something like different thing. What we can uh, in the automation anywhere the filter command will work only on the table format. Only it will the filter command will work only on this table format. Like so, there is a command called filter. Under the Excel advanced, there is a command called filter table. So, if we drag and drop this filter table, uh, see here it's asking for the table name. So, if I if I am do th doing this in a table only, if I uh, put this under the table range only, the table name appear here only. We can uh, filter the table here and we can show it in a message box or anything. So, without doing this uh, table filter table how to get the information how to achieve that so i will uh, delete the tables here so i deleted the table table ranges here so uh, by this how we can get the software engineer in the position b column and we how to show this only this row reading this row and show it in a message box so for that um, let me delete this Uh, under the Excel advanced, there is a command called open command. Drag and drop this here. In the desktop file. This is the file path. I will get this here. Copy as path. Paste it in the desktop file. So the sheet is containing header. So we can give the sheet contain header. Okay. Then uh, make sure the session name is default one. Okay. So the next step uh, after opening this Excel, the, my next step is uh, loop through each row. drag and drop the loop through each row each excel each row in an excel sheet under the excel advanced each row in a worksheet and that going to be stored it under the variable called the record variable <coughs> let it be excel row okay now we uh, we started the loop and the loop going to read all the rows in excel so before uh, my next step will be go to b2 and it, it will read the b2 cell so for that we have to put go to cell so before putting go to cell we will uh, just assign the number package under the number package assign function before the loop we have to put and we can assign number two because the row going to be start from two two three four like that it will increment so the row going to be start from two <coughs> uh, number assign two that going to be stored it in a variable called row number we can create this as a row number Okay, create and select <coughs> we assign the number to a row number then the loop is going to be start and my next step will be get that single cell so get single cell under the excel advanced packet get single cell inside the loop <coughs> so not in the active cell you can click the specific cell the specific cell will be of b2 so we are going to get this b2 so b 
I'm not just clicking. Uh, I will not put two. So uh, doing two, I will just put this row number what we have assigned here. Row number dot two string. Number two string. We can convert this a uh, number two string in this step itself. Not of going to the string uh, number condition and converting to the string condition. We can do this number two string here itself. So uh, it will go to the B two. cell and it will get the single cell and which it will store it in a variable called let me add this as position <coughs> position so uh, now it will go to the b2 and it will get this position number position uh, cell and what we are going to uh, do in the next thing is after getting this single cell we are going to compare this compare this cell If the cell is equal to software engineer, then read this row. Else, increment by one. If this cell is equal to software engineer, get this row. Else, increment by one. So it will go here. Let me see in the board. So add if conditions here. If string condition. The source value will be <clears throat> what we have created here is position. So that is the source value here in this condition. Source value of position. Ah, uh, that should be equal to software engineer. We can copy the software engineer from here. Okay, that will that will be of match case. Let me save this. So after this condition is true, if this condition is true, it's going to read that row. Read row. <coughs> Under Excel Advanced, there is a uh, command called read row. Ah, uh, it will read the which row is what we have the cell address of here. That is the row it's going to read. Copy it. Paste. So it will read this row. Uh, it will read entire row, and uh, you have to click this read full row. If not, it will read from the B B column. It will read. Okay. So so that's why we are clicking the read entire row. So it will read the entire row here. That going to be assigned in a variable of the list variable. Under the type list variable, uh, like it will be Excel row data. Okay, that is so for the list variable. So that we going to be, we are going to show that in the message box. Message box. Okay. So what is the variable Excel row data? Here, click F two. Excel uh, row data. That is of a list variable. That this list index number zero. It will start from here. Zero, one, two, three, four. Like that, it will. Uh, This if if I read this row, eh, this entire row will store it under the variable of the list variable. So it will start from zero hyphen Excel row data one. So similarly, we are going to paste for till five. So zero one two three four zero one two three four four. Copy this. Two, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So zero, one, two, three. This will be of four. So five is not there. You can delete this. Save it, and if this condition is true, means it will run this uh, steps. If this condition is false, or uh, else if this condition is true also, it will increment the row by one. So the, make sure this increment option should be outside the if condition and inside the loop condition. So it will, so it's outside the loop condition. I have to drag and drop inside the loop condition. 
so this one uh, number increment is inside the loop condition and outside the if condition make sure you can look at this one okay my so increment will be of row number what we have created in the second step row number increment by one and assign to a row number okay save it So we can go through from first, just I'm opening this Excel and just assigning the row number with the row number will start from 2 and the loop each row in Excel and if, if they are going to loop through each Excel it's going to get the single cell of B2 then um, if that single cell is equal to software engineer position is equal to software engineer it will read the entire row and it we can show that in a message box else we can uh, increment by 1 also if the condition is true also it will increment by one the condition is false also it will increment by one we can see the bar can close the excel save it run it My board is started. So Excel open spreadsheet command. <coughs> so the, at the line 3, the Excel contains the empty row header or duplicate header name invalid range. Okay. Something. Okay, we once again run the bot. Open spreadsheet command. Get a single cell. So it it traveled to it it, it reading this uh, row. And, but this is not equal to software engineer so in increment by one this is also not uh, equal to software engineer, increment by one and then it is going to the b5 and this one software engineer is equal to software engineer so it's reading this entire row like Bradley software engineer London and 41 everything so this one is correct so my next answer should be this sixth row let's see okay so it's reading the sixth row, or uh, eighth row. Okay, that's all. My board ran successfully. So this is how we have. If you want to uh, get the any columns of the single cell that should be of in if condition, you can uh, go go on to um, create the bot like this. So any doubts and queries you can email me and subscribe to my channel for more videos on the real time projects. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching the video.